Welcome. Let's discuss the area of a parallelogram. Remember that a parallelogram, it's a four-sided figure where opposite sides are parallel to each other. What we want to think about is how do we find the area inside any parallelogram? We're going to start by choosing a vertex in a parallelogram and draw a perpendicular line to it. This line is what we're going to define as the height of our parallelogram. And by doing this, we have created a right triangle. Now, what will happen if we get this right triangle and we start moving it to the right hand side? By moving the right triangle, notice that we have created a rectangle. But we can say that the area of a parallelogram can be seen as the area of a rectangle. So the same formula that we have for the area of a rectangle, which is base times height, is the same formula that we will use to find the area of a parallelogram. Where the base can be either the upper or the lower side of our parallelogram, and the height is the perpendicular line that we draw between the two bases. Let's take a look at an example. Now that we have defined the area of a parallelogram as base times height, let's find the area of the parallelogram given below. The first thing to notice is that the length of the base of this parallelogram is given to us. It is a length of 12 centimeters. And now we need to find the height. Notice that we have the value of this angle on the bottom left hand side. That is of 45 degrees. So let's choose this vertex in our parallelogram and draw a vertical line to it. We can create a right triangle. And the value of this vertical line is what we're going to define as a height. So now let's just concentrate on the right triangle and try to find the height. Because we're inside of a right triangle and we know the value of one angle and we're looking for the side of this triangle, then we can use trig functions. So if we let 45 be our reference triangle and we start labeling our triangle, then the height will be the opposite. The value of nine centimeters will be our hypotenuse and we'll get our adjacent right here. So within this right triangle, notice that we have the value of the hypotenuse and we want the value of the opposite. Then we can conclude that we can use the sine function because it is defined as opposite over hypotenuse. So now let's plug in all this information. The sine of 45 degrees, it is equal to the opposite, which is the height, over the hypotenuse, which is nine. And now if we multiply by nine on both sides, now we're gonna get an expression for the height, nine times the sine of 45. And we can use our graphing calculator for this. That is equivalent to 6.36. So if we plug in the value of 12 in our formula as the base, and we plug our value of 6.36 as the height, then we should be able to define the area of this parallelogram. So now we know that the area is of 76.32. But because the measurements were given to us in centimeters, then the unit or the area is centimeters square then we have properly found the area of this parallelogram. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.